fade up on Mike walking down the street or on the deck or some shit like that, reading a letter from a viewer. Who knows where he'll be because he had to move out of his fucking apartment for black mold removal, so he's making do. Hey Mike, how are you? Fine? And your own self? I have a question to ask, and you answer questions on the internet, so sending this message seemed like a good idea. It's airtight logic so far. I respect your process. I've been with my boyfriend for about a year now, and like most relationships, we've had our ups and downs. I had a similar relationship with a pogo stick. That's... Shorty Award material. He's my first real relationship, and by real I mean relationship that lasted longer than a month and a half. So he's not your first real relationship, he's just your first long relationship. Your first real shot at getting sick and tired of looking at the same face every day. I like him a lot, but part of me wants to end it because I cannot see growth with him. Awesome! Sounds like you've got yourself a pretty solid plan. You've had about a year to figure it out. Think of other questions that you spent a year trying to figure out. Math ones. We have a five year age difference with him being old. I'm just so happy that sentence didn't end with year old child. We have a five year age difference with him being the older one and I thought he would be more mature, but he's not. And that's a strike too in the baseball business. He's very churlish. He's very childish. The hardest part of deciding is that I still love him. I'm not sure how relationships work. I just thought people break up because they no longer like each other anymore, but I can't seem to leave him because I still like him. Okay. I can't say for sure because I'm not you and I don't know him and I don't know anything about you two, but you might not even be in love. And I'll tell you why. I haven't heard you say one nice thing yet. I'm almost completely through the letter. I'm in love with somebody, and I say nice shit about them all the time. Uh, she looked very pretty today, by the way. Um, um, um. It's usually not that hard to find something positive to say about someone you're in love with. I think that you might think that you're supposed to be in love with them because you've been with them for such a long time, and I understand that. He says he will change, which means you've already talked about this, but I know that I can do- Ooh, this is important. But I- he, Okay, every- Let me start this sentence a thousand times before I actually finish it. He says that he will change but I know that I can do better. I don't want to wait on him to change and lose opportunities. I don't know how old you are, but it takes people years sometimes to figure out what you just said. Bounce out, lady. You probably missed an opportunity right in this letter. But then it's just so hard to end it because I feel like I like him. You feel me? Yeah. I feel ya. Maybe this question would be more suited to the walk and talk format. Uh, just this. Okay. Break up. Breaking up is hard and annoying, like one of your friend's dads at a strip club. But sometimes you gotta do it, because if not, you're just gonna lose control of this part of your life. You wanna get to the other side of the street, but in the middle of the street, there's this huge rock that you can't get around. So do you wanna put effort into moving the rock, or do you wanna stand in the middle of the street and look at the rock until it hopefully changes into a more mature person? Move the rock. Don't be afraid to put effort into something that's going to improve your life. Life's not always all Facebook requests and thumbs up. Sometimes things suck a little bit and everything that you do that happens to suck gets you one step closer to something that doesn't suck so bad as long as you're putting in the effort to get past it. Michael Fells on Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, I'm sorry about the change of scenery but not really because you probably don't care. So what am I apologizing for? It's just good to talk to you. I don't have to clean this window, so fingerprints all day! Feel free to use this content in video, but please keep me anonymous. Thanks very much. Have a kick-ass fantastic day, sir. You too, Becky Swanson of Asbury Park, New Jersey. You too. <laughs> That's not her real name, but right now there's a Becky Swanson in New Jersey who's like, what did I do last night?